Okay, thank you for joining WB Engineering. This is a simple extrusion using Autodesk Inventor 2010. First, what we're going to do is orient the plane the way we want it to. As you can see right now, we are uh, on the right side. What I want to do is go to the top. So I'm going to orient it with the top. Then now, what I want to do is actually create a sketch. I want to go to my XZ plane, which orients my, to the top. So now we have a nice view here. Now what we want to do is actually draw, right? So since this is a compressed screen, I'm going to have to hit this, and it might be a little bit difficult to see at first. But as you can see, as I increase this, uh, it tells me my dimensions on the bottom. So I can get a good idea of what it is. So if you see in the bottom right, you see my radius updating with the size of the circle. So it gives me a good idea of about where I'm at. So obviously if you want some kind of uh, additional control, you can go in, put in a dimension, and you can simply change that to 1. You can see we actually created our circle on that plane. What we want to do now is create a feature using that circle. So I'm going to hit Finish Sketch. That will automatically take me over to the modeling plane. Now from the modeling plane we have several different areas we can go into. Um, again, this looks very sloppy and compressed just because I'm trying to uh, give you guys the best resolution. Um, I'm going to go here, Create, Extrusion. You can see it automatically picks the one profile which is available. If we would have had multiple profiles, it would have given us the option to actually go ahead and choose. But since it knows there's only one closed loop in this profile, it will choose that one automatically. So let's go through a couple options that we have here. We have solid output, and we have surface. So the surface will be used more so, I guess, when you're trying to do a complex type of geometry where you want to project some kind of sketch onto this and create a more complex piece of geometry. So you wouldn't necessarily use this to make a solid, but you'd use it to make a surface which you would build upon uh, later on with another sketch. But let's keep it simple and just make a simple solid out of this. Now I want to show you a couple things. Um, you have different choices here. The, these two aren't applicable right now because this is the first part in our um, in our uh, total drawing. So we wouldn't have a to or from, but usually you'll use this to select a piece of geometry that already exists. And say you want to extrude this sketch to that geometry, or you can use two different geometries and say from to. But for right now we're going to choose distance. I'll just change this to 1.5. Now you can see I can put in 1.5 like that, or I can just put in 1.5 without a unit, but since it knows since I'm in an English uh, standard file, it will actually pick that, and it'll know that I'm actually talking about inches instead. So then we have another option where, where do we want to extrude it? So we have either side of the plane that we can choose, or we can choose to mid-plane. So when you choose to mid-plane, this is actually useful for symmetrical parts. You have the option to choose to mid-plane, and... Um, or either side. So let me go to one of the sides, right? So we wanted to extrude it towards our top area. So now we have our top area. I'm going to go to taper. So now we have tapers here. I can put in a taper and it'll actually taper the entire part. You can even put in a negative value for that. Now you'll notice how this choice right here will start to affect how your part looks because if I switch it to the other side you'll see that it tapers to the other side. But more importantly, when you do this, now all of a sudden you have a symmetrical taper on both sides where it starts from the middle sketch. I'm going to go back here, remove the taper, and then I hit OK, so now we have our solid. Thank you, and we will be back next week with more.